So I wanted to point this out. Here we are along the Potomac Heritage Trail by Potomac. And again, it looks beautiful green, but boy, it's, it's so sad how some of these parks have been completely invaded by invasives that don't let the natives grow and don't support anywhere near as many pl plants here. Here's a small little portion, and look, just a walk right through here, and right away we got wineberry with this uh, very th uh, tiny, uh, th with its white underneath of its leaves, and it's very small little thorns that have very hair-like opinion, uh, you know, hair-like appearance. Here we have mile a minute, which has the perfoliate leaves, triangular, all these nasty spines, and does grow a mile a minute. Uh, we go a little bit further, and oh man, not only do we have just a ton of microstigia Japanese stilt grass, a nasty that was introduced in shopping crates by accident to shop as a shipping material. <laughs> Keep on going, and yes, of course, got to have some kudzu tossed into the mix. And so it's just sad, because you look at all of these plants, you've got here bristly, um, here we have bristly smartweed, another invasive from Asia, like many invasives, because there's climate so similar to Asia. So again, and then tucked here, there, and everywhere, kind of trying to make a living, are things like this beautiful jewel weed. This is one of the more unusual ones, the yellow jewel weed, as opposed to the orange or common impatience. And again, it's amazing, considering that they're completely draped over by mile a minute kudzu, and underneath it, covered by Japanese stilt grass. Something that we really need to pay attention to, something that we can all try to do by being careful by what we plant, not letting these things escape from our yards into uh, common areas, and uh, whenever there's an opportunity, helping to support invasive plant control programs in your counties, as well as going out there and volunteering to uh, do your part in helping with some of these invasive marumbo so that we don't have these things and allows the chance for our native wildflowers to thrive and support so much more wildlife than the invasives ever can.